How's everyone doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Kind of, you've had guys in and out here, but how do you feel? Where is the offense right now as far as executing to the level you want to? Well, we're doing a lot of things well. Um, I think, um, as I said, after both games, you know, there's always going to be stuff to build on, especially in the preseason. I think you're going to see, um, you know, a little bit of clunkiness. Um, you know, because we're 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 moving from game plan again, you know, practicing against our defense every day, short game plans, that type of stuff. And so, um, but that being said, you know, I felt like the other night having watched it, you know, they did a night nice, Arizona did a nice job creating a lot of pressure, um, and uh, and you know, we really just missed on a couple that were that could have been you know huge plays and and you know given us uh, a couple you know potentially touchdowns and big plays um, down in the red zone and that sort of thing. So. I mean, you know, n no, not nothing in specific, but th again, there's just like I think we hit, I think we were 43% on third down or something like that, and you know, we we went back and watched all the third downs strung together, and you know, you just see like, you know, w which is why football's so great, right? All 11 guys have to be on the same page, and so it's like one guy here, one guy there, you know, maybe I'm, my ball, the, the my throw's not perfect, or you know, we just miss here and there, and so we're really close to we were really close to converting third downs at a high rate, which you know translates directly to success. Um, well, similar to the offense, you know, there's, there's some things I feel good about and there's a lot of things that I feel like I need to continue to build on. Um, uh, you know, I feel like, again, we've, we've, we've done a nice job moving the ball. We've just got to do a, a better job, you know, and, I, and as a quarterback, I got to, you know, we, I got to get us into the end zone. We got to, you know, we got to finish drives. Um, and so, um, but again, yeah, there's a lot of things that I felt like we can build on, um, both personally and as an offense. Definitely comfort level. Um, you know, certainly um, within the offense and with the guys that I've been getting reps with, um, I feel I feel real comfortable with being in the huddle. Um, it's not, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel foreign to me like maybe it did last year when I got when I jumped in there or you know even in OTAs where I was still getting to know some of the guys. Um, so I, I think that's the that's the biggest thing is you know and, and that breeds the ability to communicate and be on the same page and then that in turn you know breeds success so i think that's that's the biggest thing that's not for me to decide you know i'm going to go back to my same answer which i know you know you're probably bored of but I, i'm here to i'm here to get better every day and i think you know again that's something that served me well in the past and i'm going to continue working on it every day is just to be the best quarterback i can be for this team and you know I, that, that part's out of my control so i'm going to let I'm going to let, uh, you know, do my job and, and let those chips fall where they may. Mike wasn't talking about you specifically, but he did tell us he felt like the practices before leaving Oxnard got a little bit sloppy in some places. Where did John need to pick things up before Oxnard? Have you done that? Typical. I mean, I, I, I would say I would say just general operation. Um, you know, there was a cup there was. It, and again, I think some of this happens as you start doing show team and carded periods and that sort of stuff. But we've got to be on the same page and, and you know in and out and understanding practice tempo whenever you're giving a look or or you know or getting a look. I think those are you know probably the two things um, for me that stick out is just our general operation in, in those types of periods. But I don't mean this to be funny at all, but is it safe to say that this is more first team reps you've taken in the last three or four weeks than your other NFL stops? Yeah, probably so. And, and I mean, she talked about it as well, but I guess how much do you notice that? Or is there any sort of like surreal aspect to it of just realizing like the strides you can take when you have that much chance to take first few runs? Um, you know, I, I think. I, I feel again. I feel great about where we're at as an offense. I feel great about. I feel good about my development personally. I think again, I'm. I'm. I'm I am getting more of these reps, and I think that's given me a chance to um, get in there and get comfortable with the guys. And I think that really helps um, in terms of your ability to operate the offense. And so that that's that's all I can say about that. Is I really I do feel better about my comfort level, and I think that sort of, um, you know, like I said, that sort of breeds success, and it it it. it I think it helps everyone on the offense. Would you also say having they're a lot of fun to throw to, that's for sure. But that also can help you, too. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I feel, you know, those guys are unbelievable. Um, 
you know, we, we've we've got a great receiving core, even you know, even even beyond those three guys. And so I feel great about um, uh, you know the ability to get them the our, our ability to get them the ball. But certainly, yes, I feel I feel there's a comfort level there as far as just having thrown to them more over the past few weeks. You can see that back is extremely competitive when he's on the field and he's competing in team drills and the like. But during this period when he hasn't been able to throw in those team periods, what kind of competitiveness have you noticed from him? Uh, well, I think that's where he shines through as a teammate. You know, I mean, he's we're kind of talking in between every series, every set out there. Um, whoever's in there at quarterback, you know, he's 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 locked in as if he's in there taking his mental reps, you know, as he should be. But and then afterwards, you can kind of see the fire still in him. Where you know, when you come back to the huddle, when you come back to stand behind and watch someone else go, he's got little pointers here and there, or you know, just little conversation, uh, just little little bits of whether it be advice or or ask him what you see there. I mean, I think that's I think that's the biggest thing is just you know, it, it's his his. Uh, ability to have stayed locked in during this whole thing um, has been great. You alluded to the context of the work you're getting now versus kind of getting thrown into the fire last year when you first got here. Has that been on your mind a little bit that this really, you know, hey, this, this is kind of my chance to get my feet under me a little bit more, whereas that didn't happen really last year? I mean, it's certainly, you know, I, I go back to the spring for all that. I mean, you know, now that we're into training camp and, and I feel, uh, I do feel good about where I'm at as the offense or uh, within the offense, um, I sort of go back to the spring. I think that was the biggest time for me. You know, some of it was virtual, yes, but to be able to get the, the foundation of this offense um, instead of just the game plan aspect of it on a weekly basis has been, uh, was, was really what was, the, the, I think, the, the biggest thing for me. And, uh, um, and now, Again, as I mentioned just a second ago, getting into the huddle with those guys, getting into the huddle with uh, with uh, with you know with the offense and feeling comfortable and the ability to communicate better, I think that's those are those are where you see the uh, the improvements. What challenge does Micah Parsons pose now going up against him? I mean, given how versatile he can be, I mean, even beyond the physical challenge, how much do you have to just be thinking he could be practicing and be blitzing separately? Yeah, I mean, he's all over the place. He's been. Um, He's been able to pick things up from a defensive scheme standpoint very quickly, and it's been impressive to watch him in practice. You certainly always have to account for where he's at, um, especially when he drops into coverage because he can cover so much ground. He looks fast from where we're standing, but on the field. He looks pretty fast from where I'm standing, too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gary, you mentioned the comfort that you get as your own. When counter slides over from left guard to center, what can you do as the quarterback to help develop that chemistry? Well, I mentioned it after. Or after the game, but he and I just have to do a better job getting snaps together. Um, I mean, you know, I know you mentioned the word versatility, and that's certainly that's certainly Connor. He he just you know we just have to get comfortable getting getting snaps and with someone in front of you with you know in, in live action. And so um, we've you know we've been working on that, and we will continue to do so. What does work look like? Are you guys? Are you guys do more structured work with quarterback and center as part of the practice script? But do you guys do? Yeah, just getting a few snaps afterward, and it, you know, just whether it be with with someone in front of him, or you know, working a working a run track, or a, or a, you know, or pass steps, so that he feels com you know, so that so that we both feel comfortable taking those snaps uh, um, from both gun and under center. When you talk to you, you're talking about how Dak and Tom Brady have some similarities, how they get everybody in the room together. How do they do that? What, how do they get everybody in a sport that's kind of separated in a lot of ways together? I mean, it's tough. To, that's tough to put your finger on. It, it's it's a it's a it's just a great leadership quality. I don't know that I can uh, describe it any more any more than that. Mike was talking earlier about uh, any quarterback getting more reps with the number one. It's just about the consistency of it. Is it the consistency of the decision making or the execution that you feel you build on the more snaps? Um, a little bit of both. Um, you know, I think. Um, I would say probably mostly the execution, because I mean we go through the decision making process in the quarterback room all the time. But you know to be able to go out, go out and do that and execute it, at, uh, you know, with the ones against the ones. I mean those types of things. Um, you know that's where that's where I've grown more comfortable. How much game plan do you have to do for this, you know, this third game? I mean we're we're you know it, it it's it's sort of a ramp up. Um, so we're, you know, we've, we've game planned a little more each week and a little more each week. So, um, you know, we're, we're sort of trying to, um, you know, get things 
close to how you know what what you'd see in the regular season as far at least as far as the routine's concerned. Is red zone kind of the last thing you get to here in the preseason, and does that play in some of the issues that y'all had? That you're not game planning specifically like you would in a regular season. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I, I, I would just say, you know, as an offense, we got to execute better when we get down there. You know, I, I go back, going back to the first game, I can't take, you know, can't take sacks down there in the red zone. Put us in second and long, and then, um, and then, uh, and then we just didn't execute on our on our other drive down there in the red zone. So, what are your impressions of Amari now that past couple days he's been able to do a little bit more and more? What have you noticed of him? He looks great. Um, it's you know, it's great to have him back out there, and um, you know, he's he's he looks fast and he looks good. What have you learned about his cerebral nature? Um, I think that's a good word for it. I mean, he's you know he's definitely um, a little bit of a quieter guy, um, but uh, he's 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 great as far as communicating with him on the field about things. So he he you know he understands all that. He's he's got you know great IQ and um, yeah you know, and and so I feel I feel real you know real good about talking to him on the field about what we saw and what he saw from a from a coverage standpoint. I'm going to go back to the Brady well one more time. When did you first meet him? Was it like, hi, I'm Tom? You're like, yeah, no kidding. And he's had a few of those. Uh, um. I yeah, I think that's probably what it was. I was sitting in the meeting room trying to learn the offense, and and he walked. Um, so yeah, it was probably just as simple as that. I mean, you know, it was it was week 16 of the season, so they were right in the middle of uh, of the grind there. So it wasn't much time for pleasantries. We were we, it was time to get to work. Right. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it, guys. Gary, Thank you.